Hey guys, you're watching Help on Flash videos and today is a very special episode because we've got Marco, who's the head of growth at Polinia, joining us in for this chat today. So Marco, first of all, thank you so much for joining us and uh, tell us a little bit about your story. What's your background like? Yeah, thank you very much for hosting us. So my story, I'm currently leading the growth for Linea. I have a pretty technical background. I started as developer, but I get to be involved with crypto very early. It was late 2012, uh, discovering Bitcoin. So uh, that actually forced me to expand my, my competences outside of the, the developer parts. Uh, and I started to work a lot in, into the space through enterprises. I was one of the six global coordinator for PwC on all blockchain and crypto projects that let, let me develop my soft skill. And so I joined Consensus uh, 2021 in the BitsDev team with the BitsDev role and started uh, also working with the R&D team that was already working on the ZK EVM. Fast forward September last year, uh, we had this meeting with the R&D team and we actually understood that the, the level of majority of Linea was good enough to actually go out of the R&D team and start this journey uh, on Linea. Uh, and I'm now working 100% on it, uh, leading the ecosystem and leading the growth of the network. Well, thanks for sharing that uh, story of transitions. And also, we, now that we're talking about Linear and your work with it, tell us, what is Linear all about? Yeah, for sure. So Linear is a layer two. It's a scalability layer on top of Ethereum mainnet. It's a ZK EVM type two. Uh, I, will, I will get into this, this two, two specific words. So we are trying to scale Ethereum through the L2 strategy, like many other layer two. We are, our approach is pretty different from the vast majority of L2s, and it's leveraging zero knowledge proof to settle whatever happened on layer two or on, on Ethereum mainnet. So we don't have fraud proof games that brings the security to uh, the layer two ecosystem but we use zero knowledge proof to let the verification of the computational integrity of what happened on layer two. It's a ZK EVM type two. It means that it's very compatible with the EVM standard. Uh, like we are able to uh, cover uh, the vast majority of the EVM functional specs. So whatever runs on Ethereum mainnet will be able to run same way without any modification uh, on linear. This is based on a tech stack that we build in house. So we are not leveraging other already existing stack and trying to just focus on, on the business development on top of them. We are instead developing this from scratch. And as consensus, we decided to do this and get into this space because we feel that this space will have bigger value by having a differentiated solution. So let me give you an example. Let's say that in three years from now, all the traffic will be moved on layer two. If uh, there will be a single layer two tech stack implementation, there will not be diversity. So if there's a bug in that implementation, uh, it will end up affecting all layer twos of that. Uh, and it will be very difficult to be able to sustain uh, this approach. So we believe that introducing different tech stack gives extremely uh, value to the overall Ethereum ecosystem because we actually are bringing diversity into the space and, and that it's it's very important to avoid to let Ethereum become a network that is relying on a single tech stack. So that's that's where we are coming from. Perfect. That actually gives a lot of perspective into Linea and why you're building it and what you're building. So when we're talking L2s, typically we're talking like speed, scalability, security. So what is Linea's take on that? What does it prioritize and how does it balance this uh, triad out? Yeah, I mean, scalability uh, is actually uh, the reason why we are trying to do this. So there's, there's a lot of focus into the team on uh, now stabilize, uh, making linear more stable uh, in terms of uh, gas consumption, optimizing uh, all the gas consumption on layer one. Uh, that will impact, of course, the linear itself by reducing the um, fee uh, that user is going to pay on layer, on layer two. We are working to increase the capacity of Linea, even if we are very far from reaching the capacity. We are working a lot to increase this capacity in order to be prepared for a possible upcoming bull, bull run and, and new uh, onboarding of users. Security uh, has always been a top priority for consensus. I mean, you can see even in MetaMask, uh, there's a lot of focus on security. So we are doing the same on Linea. Just as an example, we are already uh, working with partners that do live monitoring of linear blockchain. Uh, we are also working with some other partners that do 
uh, live monitoring of economical risks of dApps that are on linear. We are working on some identity protocols that are basically based on attestation in order to talk about permissionless reputation systems that goes at the end of the day into the security space. So all of these different initiatives then come all together in a single strategy that we will start to, to focus in the, in the upcoming months. So basically, one of the differentiators of Linea is the use of zero-knowledge proof. So uh, we are inherently more secure than many other layer two out there because we rely on, on cryptographic proof instead that waiting for third parties to uh, identify issues on, on the layer two. Uh, but still, even if we use zero-knowledge proof, apps on Linea can be hacked. We can have scams. We can have rug pulls. So we cannot really claim that Linea is a, a very secure rollup unless we will start to increase the bear, moving from infrastructure security to ecosystem security. So that's why we want to leverage all the experience that we are having internally on Linea, uh, like the monitoring tools or the ecosystem uh, risk monitoring stuff, reputation score. All of this will join together into a single strategy where actually we will be able to increase the security at the ecosystem level and that then we can start talking about Linea is one of the most secure to out there. So security is very, very important. As of now, the technical team is focusing mainly on making Linea more stable. We just went live a couple of months ago, so we are still trying to <laughs> improve things with the quick wins in the short term. But security is really one of the priority. It's really consensus culture on this. So uh, congratulations on going live a few months back. Uh, that was a very loaded answer, which means I have to zoom in on a bunch of multiple points there. Uh, the first thing that I could take away was that CK proofs is actually what sets Linear's and L2 apart from the rest of the other L2s out there, right? Is there anything else you would add on to that, um, in, onto what makes Linear so different from every other L2? So we are not the only ZK EVM out there. Polygon ZKVM was the first to start, uh, and it's a type two. We were the second one. We, we are welcoming Scroll very soon. That is the third one, ZKVM type two implementation. These are more or less the same thing to developer eyes. So as a developer, there's just no differences between one ZKVM type two or another. There are differences with other ZKVM, like, say, like type four ZKVM, for example. But when it comes to the developer, there's really no difference because we all implement a standard. So if we all implement a standard, it's like I, uh, I'm going to ask you, what's the difference if I use an RPC endpoint provided by GET or by a Nethermind node or a Bezu node? You know, they all implement a standard interface, so they are all the same. The difference is uh, on what is on the back. So how do we implement this standard? It's the difference between the different ZK EVMs type to the that out there. Um, we actually believe that we have a very great piece of technology when it comes to the to the prover. Uh, and the approach that we use for the editorialization of the ZK EVM is also very, very, very interesting because it enables to have a very efficient prover technology stack uh, that will actually improve the efficiency of the overall network. But we are talking about really small piece of difference. What makes the biggest difference is the ecosystem. We are working a lot on the ecosystem, leveraging not just the consensus connection and consensus brand, but also leveraging the relationship uh, with, with our flagship product, that is MetaMask. Uh, and this is very important because uh, layer two ecosystem acts like a sort of distribution channel for dApps on the network. Um, that's uh, our role primarily, to distribute dApps that are uh, on linear in our case in order to let them to be more successful on the market. So the integration that we have with MetaMask is extremely important. And I'm not talking just about a technical integration. I mean, if you open your MetaMask, you will see Linea is already a default network there. Uh, all the curated experience are rolling out gradually so that Linea will be fully supported by MetaMask. But the real value, it's not really this technical integration. It's really the team integration that we have with the MetaMask team. We are part of the same company, so we work together hand in hand. So the strategy are fully aligned between the two teams. And that's very relevant because MetaMask is one of the biggest community out there that we have in, uh, in the crypto industry. So uh, being able to leverage this relationship is super important. And it's really one, one big piece of our value proposition. 
Right, the tech um, stack in the ecosystem is always uh, the most vital part. And you talked a lot about the integration with MedicMask. You also integrate with um, Infura. Talk to us about the other resources. I saw a lot of grants as well that you guys are providing for developers and apps. So talk to us a bit about all of that. The value that consensus bring to Linea is, is very relevant. Linea nodes are run by the Infura team. That is a, an assurance of reliability. Infura was there from the very beginning during bear market, during bull market, able to keep the load for uh, spikes in the activity. So uh, being able to rely on a team like this to operate linear, linear network is, is really a very, very important thing. Now linear is still centralized uh, as all the other layer two. So this value is even more important. We have uh, a lot of plans on the decentralization and we hope that we will be able to uh, to have a really reliable network as, as we have it today, uh, thanks to Infura. Infura get also as a big access to developer community uh, because we have a lot of developers building on top of Infura. And of course, uh, Linea is as a way to tap into this community. I already spoke about the MetaMask integration and, and how important it is. And that's not just the overall value that consensus brings to Linea because consensus also uh, is present on every ETH global event with an hackathon. Uh, and, and we are there and at every hackathon with Linea bounties. So we try to support native Linea builders to build something that has value on Linea. And the approach that, that we usually take is that it's not just a bounty uh, that the team try to collect and then, okay, forgot about it. We are trying to really build a developer community, a builder community, we call it, uh, in order to add more developers on every event that we have. Uh, and create this builder community that will actually build the next big things on Linea. Again, the Linea success is not the network success. It's really the DApps success on Linea. So uh, we really care about uh, scouting the good developers that will create the DApp of the future. We also provide uh, support when it comes to funding. Uh, we have an ecosystem investment alliance. It's more for rounds than seeds. So it's more, let's say, a later stage than an individual developer or a small startup. But it's very powerful because uh, it's an alliance of around 45 tier one VCs. Many of them are consensus investors. Consensus is, of course, part of this alliance. So it's a very interesting opportunity to being able to access to, to VC, let's say, to support the developers in the ecosystem. We also have acceleration program that is provided by consensus. It's called the fellowship program. But we are trying also to start other initiatives very similar that are because the, the fellowship program is not really a linear program. Uh, it's a consensus program that, of course, will turn down to, to focus on linear, uh, MetaMask snaps and things like this. But yeah, we will try to uh, start something related to linear, so dedicated to linear very soon, very similar to the approach that we are having for the fellowship program. Yeah, that's more or less the type of support that, that we give and the value that actually we have from consensus. Yeah, all of those uh, initiatives actually sound wonderful and I'm sure developers out there quite appreciate it. Um, so previously you talked a lot about security. You talked about identity protocols, risk monitoring, reputation scores, life monitoring, all of that. So it looks like Linea took a very holistic take on security as well. Halbon, uh, we are a cybersecurity partner to Linea and we are um, involved in a lot of assessments. So let's zoom in on security a bit more. Um, what was your overall holistic take to security as a team and why partner with Halborn? The security is super important when it comes to our roadmap. Uh, we are not there yet because we need to refine the strategy. We are still collecting all the pieces of the puzzle, you know, uh, and we are testing them uh, internally for the linear team. So we have the audit pieces, of course, we have the monitoring pieces, we have the identity pieces, we have the economical risk pieces. At some point, we will come up with a pretty well-defined strategy that will take all these pieces of the puzzle and bring the, the, whole, the whole figures. And of course, Alborn is uh, extremely important in, in, this, in this path because we uh, actually hope that all our security partners uh, will be involved in supporting us defining the right strategy to increase the bar of the security across the ecosystem. Because today, many developers does not focus on security enough. They just want to go fast on the market without taking a lot of care about security. 
And then uh, we see a lot of issues because of this reason. Uh, so we feel responsible uh, as consensus, not just as linear, to increase the bar in the ecosystem. Uh, and increasing the bar means that we need to have uh, to develop new habits uh, in, in developer mindset. Um, and this can be done by implementing a, a, a strategy that is not just a strategy for linear, but it's more a value proposition. So you want to join linear because we give you something more uh, as a developer. But if you want to, to really get something more, we need to be 100% sure that, that we are aligned in the approach. So as security is very a priority for us, we need to be sure that security is a priority for you as well. So in order to uh, switch from an internal activity on security to a value proposition, we really need to work with the best in class teams around this. So we really need to get feedbacks from, from Halburn and uh, all the other security partners that you're working with. It's, it's extremely important. That's excellent to hear. And always, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's great to see how, uh, how much prioritized security is in the mix of things here at Linea as well. Thank you, Marco. This has been a wonderful chat with you today. And I found out so much more than I knew about Linea from this chat just right now. Uh, so thank you so much again for joining us in today. Mm -hmm.